Well, today I'm going to uh, uh, give you a little demonstration of a CAM track program I've written. Um, I had a user contact me about some motion tracking that I used for my speed camera that calculates uh, speed of vehicles driving by the house, and he asked um, whether it could actually track uh, camera movement as opposed to things moving in in the camera's view. And so I thought about it and uh, I tried to use some of my uh, motion tracking uh, logic uh, figuring that the contours would shift uh, all of the cumulative X contours would shift left or right and I could add them up and get an idea of uh, the camera moving back and forth. Uh, it didn't really work very well. It wasn't very uh, uh, wasn't very accurate, and uh, it uh, because there's co new contours coming in and and old contours coming out. So I thought about it for a while, and uh, basically the the heart of programming is finding a a good algorithm that solves a problem uh, uh, efficiently, and. Uh, so I was looking at uh, OpenCV, they have cam shift and a bunch of other things and uh, so then I looked at a uh, uh, feature that allows you to uh, find an image inside another image and gives you the location of it. So I thought, oh, well that might work. So uh, I took, uh, what I did is I I take the video stream and I clip up, um, the middle part of the screen out. Um, you can specify the size, but uh, I made it uh, um, just a small cutout. And then uh, run it through the OpenCV uh, commands. You can take a look at the code uh, to uh, process. So the first command uh, processes the uh, the two images, the small one and the larger one, and it returns the uh, uh, the data about uh, where they found. And then uh, the second pass is you feed the results of that uh, analysis, and it reviews all of the results and uh, gives you um, a percentage of uh, accuracy for the uh, most, uh, the best fit and the worst fit. So both of them give you the XY coordinates and the uh, and the percentage uh, between zero and one. So a high percentage would be 0.99. So I'll give you a little demo here. Um, it's running on a Raspberry Pi three but it uh, should run uh, on other uh, Raspberry Pis. So this will be up on GitHub as well. Okay, so uh, it comes up. I've, I've, I've got this uh, 320 by uh, 240 and expanded it out. I got a little uh, resizing multiplier for the screen so you can see it a little bigger. So this is a little bigger than it normally is. So if I take the camera and shift, you can see the little green uh, square in the middle. Hopefully you can. Get the camera closer here. And if I move the camera left, you can see the square is staying fixed on, on that. Uh, the results are in the, uh, the data stream. It shows the, uh, the max location, the min location, and the results of the uh, analysis. So as you move the camera, it will, if the, the box is getting too close to the edge, it jumps to another location. And, uh, and you can move the camera around. It, it will lock on. Uh, so you could use it for uh, uh, image, you know, aiming stabilization, uh, 
because uh, you can take the XY results and feed it into a set of uh, uh, you know in into some servos and uh, so anyway you might get a little uh, seasick there so yeah you feed you can feed that into servos so you could use it for robotics uh, uh, now the other thought I had was uh, you don't have to have uh, an image clip from the video stream. You could actually uh, try to put, <coughs> I don't know, a picture of a dog or some other object and uh, experiment around with uh, how well it uh, it finds that image. So, uh, but anyway, this this will track the camera movements, uh, x y coordinates. And uh, uh, it's a it's a good little demo. You uh, the code's up on GitHub, and uh, and um, it does the job. I couldn't find anything else on the internet that does uh, quite uh, that runs under uh, Python with a Raspberry Pi. But uh, anyway, um, take a look at it if you're interested. And uh, that's it. Bye bye.